viewers, welcome back. You're still watching Breakfast Central right here on New Central. It's about to get exciting and lit on the show. Now, if you're still enjoying your dirty December and you're still looking for things to do, but a bit more relaxed, we may just have something for you. Now, if you happen to be in Lagos on the 2nd of January, why not catch a musical act at the Museum Center? Now, Ada the Country is a musical that is produced and directed by Lala Akin Doju and Titi Lope with Kate Tension as the lead. Now, it is a survival story of a young woman who has lost everything they could be in a single event of a fire. Now, let me not just let the cat out of the bag because I have people that will give us more on that. I have Chica! <laughs> Which I like to call her the energy lady. Because <laughs> she always brings the energy on. And I also have Oluchi Odi. Welcome to the show and thanks Thank for joining us. It feels good to have you. But Chi, you know, because of comedy, me, I like to laugh. So tell me, what did you do this morning? What did you do when you woke up this morning? Just leave me for talking to God. <laughs> before you approach the Lord, make sure all is clean. Okay, so now you know, before you even pray, don't let God, you know, yeah, he doesn't want to receive that smell. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the movie, you know, the, Ada, play. the play, Ada the, the, the Country. I want you to tell us more about the play first. We already know, like, this is the little thing, but I want you to, like, elaborate and tell us a bit more. Um, I, I think Ada is literally, I th for me, Ada, is, Ada the Country is a story about a woman yeah, who's lost everything, but I think the story is more about the, the women around her. Um, and how life just happens sometimes, and yeah. and the women around her, her friends, her, her mother, her, her mother-in-law. Oh. So all these women around her who provide a support system for her. Mm -hmm. But they're also, each and every one of them has their own journey in life. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of them is somewhat flawed in a way, has gone through something. Mm -hmm. And it's just about pulling together in spite of your own situation, mm -hmm. I think. Coming together to just uplift someone who's lost you know, um, who, who suffered a major loss. Mm -hmm. um, and something like a fire, which we, I mean, any of us know people that have or mm -hmm. have suffered a fire and the amount of loss that it is. Mm -hmm. And just um, seeing her through that and just going on that journey with her. So coming to watch the, the coming to watch the play, you get to sort of like see these women and their, their own stories inside the story. Sorry. Yes, it's about Ada, but these other women have would, their own have their stories. Own stories. Well. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, Alicia, tell me, how was it like, and what role did you, uh, you know, play in the play? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm playing the role of Ifoma. Okay. I'm Ada's younger sister, uh, who is, um, who also has a story to tell, mm. you know. Of course, she, she had issues, but I won't let the cat out, out of the bag. Okay. Back. When you come to watch <laughs> Let the cat out. Let the cat oh, out. Let this out. cat is okay. It's well, tired. Let us do that. Um, <laughs> if Oma had issues in school, you know, she was molested by her lecturer. And, you know, she also passes through several other types of molestation on the streets yeah. when she's yeah. trying to yeah. get to school. So uh, if Oma had her own story, which she told, yeah. And yeah, that's that's the role I play for me. It's story, story about story, we all all of us like I think all Everybody of us as women can. and men go through things in society. I mean yes. we have we let it not be like it's a feminist movie, yeah. you know, yes, or something. Exactly. We, we have a man in you know in our cast, in our the one man standing, um, yeah. Ayola Ayola. <laughs> and and um, I think the, one of the most beautiful things about this piece is one the writing, like like Titi mm. just yeah, uh, it's gonna go. I did herself, of course, Lala on that one on her on her directorial not debut mm. but tribute because it's three of them. Yeah, yeah, and then the music. Oh, yeah, the, the music, the music, the music. Beautiful. Music. But, but I also know that the movie is dominated more by women than yeah. the play is dominated <laughs> more by women than men. That I saw. Um, yes, yeah. yes, because it, it we are trying to tackle. Um, Issues that, that concern women, face. women the yes. woman. Okay. but we are not trying to neglect the men the as men. well. You know, because they are part of the society, and in one way or the other, they help us as women. Mm -hmm. You can't take them, take them, know, out. put them yeah. aside. Yeah. So it just tackles basically what women go through: postpartum depression, yeah, child things that we don't, uh, things that I think even as a society here in Nigeria, some things that are kept on the hush. I know that yes. you don't want to talk about because it's like, oh, maybe it's not I, our I way. Not it's not our situation. So, you know <laughs> why it's a human being situation. Yeah. And it also yeah. tries to inform us yeah. that in the midst of everything, you don't, because uh, there's this um, relationship between mother and daughter yes. and daughter-in-law yes. and, and mother-in-law. Mother which, so which, which we are trying to bring a lot that of that will be 
sort of like negatively, somewhat yes. negatively shown, especially when you talk about movies and things like that. Yeah, but this brings um, a positive yeah, color there's, to there's it. Really but how was it like working with Lala? Let's talk about Lala. How was oh, it like? Uh, well, I could tell it was good. The way it was like, oh. <laughs> because, because, I mean, I think for some of us, Lala, like for me, Lala is also friend and sister, so it's like different. But yeah. I mean, as as my director, she's different and she demands a lot from you. Mm -hmm. to, and, and because for me, mm -hmm. this is my sort of, I would call it sort of like my comeback to theater yeah. after I haven't done theater in a long time. Mm -hmm. And because I've been busy with movies and just comedy yeah. and all these things. And and just being able to come back here and given this opportunity, I didn't want to mess it up. And she's been so amazing, just sort of like Fantastic. seeing us through the lines and, and, and telling us what she wants and how we should sort of like express ourselves and allowing us to sort of like even bring ourselves into, into our characters and movies. allowing us to play ourselves and yeah. still sort of like bring the story to life and let what we feel even emotionally like let it show in so people can uh, yeah. understand yeah. And, and because yeah. so many yeah. people will yeah. relate to our stories yeah. so and you know we know titila pay is a great writer I mean, fantastic <laughs> i feel like i'm reading poetry when we read the lines i'm like mm. <laughs> like there's so much depth into it mm -hmm. she put in so yes. many things that yes. when you listen to them you'd nod your head in agreement yeah. to everything so okay uh, but you know this is not your first time participating in a musical play right no, it's not. I did it years ago. I've done like, yeah, years ago. But how difficult is it transiting, um, you know, transiting the music into the play? Is it is it so difficult? I mean, I sing all the time. Like I'm always constantly. Yeah. And you definitely yeah. sing before you leave. I know. I mean, I sing. I know. <laughs> Have you heard this one though? No. Oh. Hey, okay, so she would oh. sing as well. Oh. <laughs> it's let's a singing not, thing. Let's yeah. not talk about Please. it. Let's not. Oh, let's not talk thing. about it. No, let's not talk about it. No. <laughs> Let's not this oh, one right here. This no. one right here. Okay, so tell me, this how one. is it like you know transiting the music into, uh, you know, into the play? Um, just like Chi Girl said, I am first a singer before an yeah. actor. I was I came to theatre through music, mm. and um, of course, in everything you do, be it having your bath or washing plates or you know doing something, you find a way to infuse music into your activities. So yes. it's like. Unconsciously, mm -hmm. it, it works. It works for them. Yeah. Well, works. how important is this narrative? Because we know that this movie is all about, you know, I know yeah. there's a man. This play, <laughs> this play. What well, well, I mean, maybe I'm speaking things into the air. Oh, we are the country. <laughs> it's coming soon. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, well, the mo I've, I've said it that it will happen. The movie is coming soon. Don't worry. Okay. I was, Yes, we wouldn't expect the movie. But hey. if we're talking about this play, it's more focusing on women. Mm -hmm. You understand? How is that changing the narrative? Because they're saying women can come together, trying to tackle the stories and you know issues women are facing that they don't want to come out and talk about mm -hmm. it. But how do you think this will change the narrative? This play, other the country, how would it change you know the narrative? Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but I think for me, I think one of the things I want people to leave that theatre with is just I saw myself in the story. Mm -hmm. I want them to find themselves in the story and be like. Oh, that was me. Oh, I understand her. Oh, you know, let it be an outlet for you to also sort of like, because you never know what people are carrying sometimes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you just never know how people feel. You never know what people are going through because you just, sometimes we're on our own, in our own world and we forget that there's a world around us. Mm -hmm. And I want people to find themselves in, this, in the story, find themselves in this musical, enjoy the music, express themselves, as in coming and seeing yourself expressed. Mm -hmm. In, in the story and just sort of like maybe for you that might be an outlet okay. to just let off some steam and let off some stress. And also I feel too that it's a medium for all women to come together yeah. rather than bash each other. We exactly. Don't have time for women that. supporting women. We need women, to like, come together and support each other. Yes. There is no time for a uh, wishy or that. Yeah. You know. So it's a medium to bring all women together and for us to help ourselves and become better. Persons. And become better. Uh, but before I wrap up on this, Oluchi, give me one reason. I didn't say talk plenty. One mm -hmm. reason why we should come out and watch the play. Just one, in one word. One reason. You've never regretted. it. It's too long. Ah! <laughs> How do I start? Well, give us the dates. It's happening. It's happening on the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th of January. Okay. Um, we have 3 to 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. shows. Though the 2nd of January, we just have one show on the yes, seven, on about at 7 p.m. Okay. It's at the Musan Center, yeah. Uniko, Ajipo. here in Lagos, Ajipo. Yes. Okay, and then the, the next day, we want all the details. Okay, on the 2nd, it's at 7 p.m. On okay. the 3rd, 3 and 7 p.m., 4th, 5th. 4th, 3 and 7. Yeah, 3 and, and 7, yeah, at well. same time. Yes. Yes. Okay, what about entry fee? How much are we looking uh, at? Regular is 7,500. Seven okay. mm -hmm. um, VIP, I think, is 10,000. 
then the V, 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 and tomorrow gonna be another day. Yeah, and gonna... we're gonna face it. Yeah. <laughs> face it we squarely. Thank for 2019. We thank God for 2019. Yes, mm -hmm. Looking forward to 2020. And I want to know, of course, you know that I'm a gossip. I want to know what are the few things you are planning to do in 2020. Mm -hmm. It's my life. <laughs> I want to live maybe, I just and be okay. Be I want to be a baby girl. It's a life for life. I'm tired of being angry, tired of stressing. I just want to be a baby girl for life. That is, yeah. 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 Okay, Chigel, we know you want to be a baby girl for life, but in terms of acting, will you do more movies? I want to find um, out. Um, because I saw you at the premiere of The Excellency. A lot of stuff happening. Uh, a lot of stuff in the works. Um, I'm going to be in Nigeria. Oh, yeah. 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 Y